Hey guys, it's Felix from Bars and Scars ATL, and welcome again to another spirit review by yours truly. What I want to do is introduce to some and reintroduce the others, Wyoming whiskey. You may not have heard of Wyoming whiskey, and that's because it is a extremely small batch, small distillery out of Kirby, Wyoming. And just like delicious whiskeys out of New York and Tennessee, it too sits upon a limestone reservoir where it extracts its water. And if you know anything about limestone, of course, as the water filters through, it gets filtered, but it also imparts certain minerals and notes that you can't find in every other whiskey. So that's one thing that's unique about Wyoming. The second thing is that everything is locally sourced. So from the grains to the water, everything from beginning to end is all locally sourced. So you're talking about artisan ingredients that are in this whiskey. Lastly, the unique thing here is that this is their double cast offering, which means that it was finished twice. So the bourbon went through the typical bourbon aging. Uh, this one here, a minimum of five years, but then it spent extra time in sherry cats. So what I'm presuming is that it's going to pick up some of those sherry notes, dark notes, a little bit of that sherry wine notes and sweetness. But let's get into it. As you can see, I've already drunk past the neck pour, still a good pop. And that's just to open up the whiskey. So I'm not too concerned about giving it too much time to open up here. And the three things that I look at when I'm uh, reviewing or uh, tasting a whiskey uh, first is in the glass, the uh, color, then the viscosity or thickness of the whiskey. And then we'll go to the nose and the palate. But up front, as you can see, it's a nice bright amber, not too dark. So I don't, I don't think it picked up too much or spent too much time in the sherry cast. But a nice golden amber, a nice light golden amber, orangey amber. And then as far as the viscosity, as we swirl it around here, try to see, basically, if you ever heard anyone say uh, it has nice legs, <laughs> then <laughs> they're talking about how it clings to the glass and how uh, oily it may be. And that just indicates how much flavor or the mouthfeel that it'll have on the, uh, on the palate. So after that, we'll go to the nose. And what I like to do is just fan it past the nostrils, take it away and also switch nostrils. Usually just with my mouth open so I can get full circulation of air. And I can tell you, okay, up front, this is a very delicious whiskey, smelling whiskey. Um, very desserty. It smells like, it has up front, nice light honey, a uh, little bit of citrus blossom, uh, like a fresh flower that's blooming uh, with white petals. And vanilla with just a touch of spice on there. Mm. Not too much of the sherry is coming through. There's some uh, maybe that additional sweetness that I'm picking up is from the sherry, but not any of that dark uh, fruit that I'm getting here on the nose. All right. And then on to the palate. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. 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 Up front, you get that sweetness. Uh, the honey is more concentrated. It's more, it's it's more condensed. It's thicker. It's a thicker honey. Wouldn't necessarily say caramel because it doesn't have necessarily that that cooked note, but uh, but a nice bright hot honey. Mm. The citrus is this is still there. You do get some of the oakiness uh, from the barrels there, and that's kind of like a, a medium oakiness, not too much. It's the sweetness. It's the concentrated honey. It's the um, vanilla notes are still in there, but it's that orange. So it's concentrated honey. It's that orange that you still get. Not necessarily that floralness that I had on the uh, nose, but more of just concentrated orange and, 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 and vanilla and thick honey one more sip the there is some darker notes that come into the medium to the back uh, of the palate so the, about the midway point to the back a nice 
warming uh, sensation, but it doesn't last too long. So the finish is not too long. I would say maybe, you know, anywhere between four to seven seconds of a finish. But nice notes. The one compliment that I have here, or just one of many that I have here, is that a lot of Finnish whiskeys sometimes can't overdo it. Where the sherry or the port or cognac uh, or the rum is overpowering the actual bourbon. This one here, it, it's it's there. It's it, it's 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 nice. It's a nice touch. It's a nice compliment. But you really taste the whiskey, and that's uh, upfront and parent and, and, and present. I know I lied. One more sip. I do like. You do get, and I think this is the sherry on the back end. That darker notes, that syrupiness. So you do get a thicker um, taste from this. Uh, syrupy is kind of like a cooked down uh, plum, right? A sugary sweet plum. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's nice, but again, it's not overpowering. I think this is a good offering from Wyoming whiskey, coming in at a hundred proof. Uh, this definitely can stand up. It's a good sipper. Um, I wouldn't necessarily make cocktails with it, of course, but I think it's a good sis, uh, sipper, a good addition to the bar. Uh, if you're looking for a nice, what I would call a medium, uh, as far as price range, uh, which is between, let's say, 49 to 79 bucks, uh, this is a good whiskey up there with the Knob Creeks and the uh, Stellums and things of that nature, just in that price point range, the Penelope's. This is a good offering. And again, if you don't see Wyoming whiskey uh, in your local store, ask them if their uh, distributor has this. Uh, but definitely check out the double cast if you can get your hands on it. They also have a single cast and they have a rye. They have uh, quite a few other offerings uh, coming out. So I'm eager to see exactly what Wyoming is going to give us in the near future. But guys, check out Wyoming whiskey. The double cast here. Follow Wyoming Whiskey so you'll know what other offerings they have coming out. Follow Bars and Cigars so you'll know what other whiskeys you should add to the bar. Guys, if you like this review, like it, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Okay, one more sip. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. Light up your life. Love you.